new, vibrant and growing. I'm Georgi Tukhashuli from uh, co-director of Startup Grind Felicity Georgia and uh, Startup Grind uh, role is to educate, connect, inspire. And what we basically do is try to connect Georgian startup ecosystem with the outside uh, startup ecosystems. So we're bringing interesting um, speakers to share the, his uh, experience, uh, his or her experience, and uh, also share the inspiration, uh, story, and, and uh, uh, the startup line is also trying to help uh, make friends and build a community. I think I answered that question in the previous one accidentally. So the mission is to educate, connect, inspire. And basically we're trying to build a startup community here where we are focused on the serious like people who are on the, on the verge of going to the next level uh, and bringing, bridging Georgian startup ecosystem to the other more developed startup ecosystem and not only. Uh, just before I took part in the startup line, I was uh, I had just quit my I just I quit my startup and I had a lot of, a lot of time at hand. I am still in the uh, day job that I do and um, I was a co-founder and uh, chief operations officer in my own startup before that. Tough question, so it depends. Uh, I still have my day job and then there is the startup grind and then there is the uh, wine finder that my own, another startup which I'm trying to work on. But the startup grind is also a big one now because it has a regional conference which, which is like a whole different project on itself. And then there is a venture elevator and I'm also trying to be a, Keynotes. I mean, at least speaker on some of the conferences and some of the some were in keynotes, some of them not. I'm also in the Youth Entrepreneurship School, um, Georgia, which is um, business advisor and mentor, and uh, I'm getting involved in a bunch of different stuff related to startups. Also, I'm trying to do some interviews and uh, show like. Do some content uh, where I share my experience with startups and the uh, ecosystem. Uh, next year, I when the accelerator uh, enters this international accelerator enters Georgia, I want to get I want to be involved in that. Uh, but also, we want to expand the startup mind where we can bring more people and connect more people from Georgia to the outside. So in startup grind, you want to grow to have two kind of tracks. One is like local people talking and another one is like international people talking and then have the yet like massive, this like even maybe almost twice as big uh, conference, regional conference. Um, and uh, I hope to grow my own startup and I hope to influence um, um, majority people's life in Georgia by uh, doing my day job uh, in a in a, diff in a financial um, financial way. Like so, we had a couple of um, startups who raised the money in Georgia so far uh, this year, which has been very good. A couple of them who are go going and growing internationally, and. Um, uh, and a lot of excitement and a lot of hope is going on for our own startups and uh, more, more one of the important things is that as I said the international accelerator will enter the Georgian market and that will help uh, jumpstart the Georgian startup ecosystem even better. There are a couple of advantages first of all the country objectively is like a very good country for safety and for transparency for low corruption etc etc so uh, that makes a that makes a very good country to start your own startup plus cost of living is uh, quite low and uh, starting your own company I think we're in number uh, it'll definitely in top 10 for starting your own company you can do it basically in one day if you're willing to pay around 70 bucks if you are not willing to pay that much money and you want to do it uh, in one business day that takes around 40 USD dollars if I'm not mistaken by heart and uh, amazing food amazing nature so it's not only the country where it's like uh, laws are good and the safety etc etc but also it's like where the living is fun and it's one of it's very historic country where the culture and history meets the modern and tech so it's like it's it's a blend so you basically can find a lot of things for 
your taste we have mountains we have sea we have so so we have all of the th most of the things covered so, so it's, it's gonna be a hell of a fun doing stuff here than anywhere in, else in the world plus we're also cradle of wine so a bunch of out of 4,000 grape varieties more than 500 come are indigenous to Georgia so so a lot of fun which is guaranteed by some very good wines uh, there are a couple of challenges. One of them is that Georgia is still kind of isolated. We, are, we, we have not tried to build the bridges with the other ecosystems. So we have to be way more active there. We have to, we don't have a lot of expertise uh, in growing business internationally. So that's another big challenge. And um, access to finance is like, so access to Georgian finance is relatively tricky and we don't have a lot of laws that govern entrepreneurship and startups specifically so there is a huge uh, things that the huge potential there that, that that are almost about to happen but still not there yet so I think in the next year that will be uh, we'll see a lot of things happen and one of the things that are challenges in Georgia in general are like um, uh, long-term stability problems so to say so if you are like a very heavy government government oriented person or company then if the government changes you may lose a lot of support all of a sudden but if you are a private company and uh, you just do your business uh, internationally then you're fine oh different uh, things and a difficult questions it depends who the next generation is but uh, probably a uh, build connections early and often because uh, when you before you start even thinking or doing anything about your startup just have a lot of connections map out be very strategic and plan a lot of things so plan how do you how do you plan to raise money who do you think should be the good investors like just not go only after a bag of uh, cash go after smart money so so be very strategic be very scraper and just never give up and uh, follow your dreams. So that's, that's I think, uh, my advice. Uh, I must say, so uh, uh, private investors and VCs, this is like a great time to be in Georgia, to be the one of the first who enters the Georgian market. Because Georgia is not only about the Georgia, but it's also a regional hub. And the startup line is actively trying to brand Georgia as a regional hub. So we're the, like this, <clears throat> countries from the Eastern Europe through the Central Asia, so 700 million people market, want to be associated with Georgia and everything that they do, they want to be visible in Georgia for sure. So. Uh, being the first to be in, in Georgia gives a lot of advantages. So, so when this regional migration and uh, and a lot of cool people come to Georgia, that's where you'll have a lot of access to the ground and a lot of access to the um, people. So, and and then the, there is a, as there is basically no competition at all so far. You have a lot of like you can cover a lot of ground and you can influence and you can teach and you can have like even policy involvement so you can mold this like far more beneficial to you right now than once the people enter this market and and just uh, overwhelm the Georgian market and the regional hub mm, uh, so they can be our friends in general and Georgian friends and they can share they can find who they like more and try to help them mentor them advise them open the doors for them etc etc so that's one also trying to bring people to georgia so that they can see and working with this like key stakeholders like the startup grind and then there are like Gita georgian innovation technology agency and others and others so that the we are developing in a correct way so to say and uh, just also like giving this like different cultural experience because like we are very homogeneous people and uh, any any inclusion from different uh, cultures will be a huge help in terms of like will enable us to see uh, things in a different perspective and also if anybody can bring the knowledge of like growing business internationally that's like a huge bonus point uh, the thing is that the georgians really care deeply about um, relationships so that they try to be friends instead of just contacts and they will go away and be beyond to help you as a friend. So it's, um, 
and you can feel this like genuine connections and you will feel appreciated and you will feel like you will feel like uh, you will feel treated differently and very amazingly in a, in a special way so just use this opportunity to come to Georgia explore this while still this is a hidden gem and have fun and uh, and chill out and kick ass.